Let us work together. Well, people has already elected you. No matter, you will be in the ocean or you will be in the, in the government, but we will work together for the betterment of our, our state here. <coughs> So the major so, contention here <coughs> seems that they want a uh, chief minister from Khasi Jainti Health region. What's your well, take on yes, that? Well, yes, it seems, it seems, yeah, that that was their agenda. I see. They want chief minister from Khasi Jainti, but that is not the only criteria where you need to decide. Let us see the fractured mandate here in Khasi Jainti. We have how many parties? We need to know that. And then some party they got two seat, some party got two seat, again some parties got five, four, like that. <laughs> so I think that is not the, the way of thinking. <coughs> but you need to also respect one thing. We are the single largest. NPP got 26. So why don't you respect the decision taken by the elected representative of the party? Because we already elected Bernard Sama to be the chief minister, again to become the chief minister <coughs> for the next five years. So it seems these people, they got mad on that. But my clarification on this is, if you want that, why not you come only in one party? Let one party set up the candidate. This side you have 36. You may win 32. You may win 33. Then you claim and form the government. I think that is, that is very clear. But <coughs> now you can't do like this. How can you just force bringing two, uh, you know, uh, two MLAs from one party, <coughs> five MLAs from one party, or four MLAs from one party? How can you forcefully ask them to form the government just because we want chief minister from us? <coughs> I think that is totally wrong. There, that's what I'm saying. Certain, you know, certain conditions are there where we need to respect and we need to also follow. Because without that, I think the democracy is gone. So therefore, my appeal to all the citizens of the state, don't listen to this kind of misleading activities done by few groups of people to disturb even the peace, tranquility that we have in Shillong City as well as in the state as a whole.